let's empty this lazy spa of water. Stay tuned, let me show you how it's done. First, turn off the pump unit at the spa and then unplug the spa. Safety first, it can do no harm if it's unplugged. Remove the inlet and outlet fittings. The inlet fitting is bayonet and the outlet fitting houses the filter. This filter is desperate for a clean. I'll come back to that in another video. Place the rubber caps over the connections. Emptying the spa is a two-step process. You will need to carry out both steps if you're deflating the spa to put it away for the winter or relocating it, but you can move straight to step two if all you're doing is emptying and refilling to put fresh water in. Step one is to disconnect the pump unit. There will be some loss of water because there is some water in the pipes and the pump unit itself. At this stage, you could, if you want to, simply pull the rubber caps off the uh, ducts inside and water will come gushing out of both of these pipes. Of course, it just lands on the ground. Now, it will empty real quick if you do that. But bear in mind, you'll be dumping the best part of 1,200 litres of water across your garden. Now, our garden's around about 120 square metres as it happens, so the maths is real easy. If you dump 1,200 litres of water across this garden, then the garden will be 10 centimetres deep in water. And I don't want that to happen, so I'm doing it properly. There are cowboy rental ferns out there who will come along when the tub is due to be taken away. They will use that method. So watch that if you're renting one and you don't want 1,200 litres of water splashed across your garden. From the packet of contents that you got when you bought or rented the tub, get the hose pipe adapter and attach it to the bottom pipe. No need to tighten it down super mad, just nip it down and attach a hose. Put the other end of the hose into a suitable grid. Two top tips, make sure that the outlet of the hose is lower than the inlet of the hose at the tub. And if like me, you're using hose lock type fittings, if one of them is a valved fitting and has an arrow on it, either fit that end to the tub or make sure that the arrow points to the outlet. Now remove the lower rubber stopper, but leave the top one in place and your tub will be draining from the other end of the hose. If there's no rush, you can leave it like that and just wait. But if you do want to speed up the draining a little and you can lay your hands on another hose and another adapter, do the same with the top connection. If you really want to be swanky, of course, you could use a submersible pump. One could argue that that's what the renters should do. Once the water level is almost down to the lower outlet, put the uh, rubber cover on it, remove your hose and the adapter, take the cap off the bottom drain point, fit your adapter and your hose and pull the stopper out of the bottom drain hole. If you've got something suitable, prop open the bung it's tethered to the hole but of course the tether takes a set in its natural position once you're down to about the last inch or two if you're feeling up to it you could lift the uh, opposite end of the tub from where the drain hole is push which will push all the water to the other end so that it goes down the drain otherwise you might end up scooping out small bits of water if you decide to prop it up make sure that you're using something suitable a chair for example but as long as, as long as there's nothing sharp that might puncture the uh, air chambers. And once it's empty, give it a clean, refill, or let it down for the winter, whatever it is you want to do next. I hope you got value from this video. If you did, please like it down by the title, consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.